All right, folks, and welcome back once more. Let's play Ravenloft Strahd's Possession today. The Green Door. Our progress is stymied. Like, I don't know if I need to hold on to these keys or not. That's the thing. So for now, I'm holding on to all of them, but I have a feeling that, like, a lot of this is just garbage that I no longer need. Sfalich Road Key, Cemetery Gate. All right, the Cemetery Gate's open. I don't know. I'm going to hold on to there. I, I, th I think that's... Sufficient keyage. Let's go ahead and save. And carry on. Whatever. Bullshit awaits. I don't recognize that monster sound. I don't think. Probably hellhounds or something. Mongrel men. Like, the mongrel men, we saw them in that one room, and that was, like, it. And that one, should I say one room, that one building in town. We're also still, I think, short some coins. Yeah, we've only got, we've got nine, I think. So that's... Uh, a problem. Oh, shit. Shit! There we go. Okay. And damage. So crazy. I didn't... Like, literally a monster closet. Fuck you, game. What shall we put into the corner, Herbert? I do not know. Oh. Uh... Fuego. Lightning bolt. Fuego. Anybody else? I saw the buttons, I assure you. I saw the buttons. There's seriously nothing in here? Oh, passage. Alright. Alright. What do the buttons do? Well, I'm not dead. Ah, open side passages. Are they side passages to bullshit? Well, we're getting eaten by hellhounds, so I assume so. Wow. Very effective. Fucking hell. Some more of you sons of bitches in here, aren't there? Seriously? They were a shortcut to hellhounds. Why? Truly, truly these devs hate the player. They hate both the player and the game. I don't know. I don't know. Man, once I, once I get further into Cud Pro, ooh, ass, get out of here. Let's have a nappy. Uh, once I get further into Cud Crawler dev, I've been idly, every so often I do like little programming streams, I don't announce them or anything because really, I imagine most people don't follow my channel for game dev bullshit, but last programming stream I did, I mentioned that I wanted to take part in a game jam, and initially I wanted to make like a top-down game like a gauntlet for a couple reasons, mostly because all of the, the game dev that I have done has been tile-based, um, turn-based games. Whereas Gauntlet is, I mean, I guess the world is still tile-based, but it's free movement and, you know, hordes of critters. Fuck! <sighs> and it, it's it's action-based, which that would be a new experience for me to develop, and I think that could be good. Um, but, like, fussing about with this, the, the desire to make something like this is, is strong. I'm sure this is gonna fireball. Yeah. Fucking Eye of the Beholder called. They want their shitty traps back. Hey, got a couple gold pieces. We like the gold pieces. 
think this brings us to a total of 11 now. Yes, 9, 10, 11. Four to go. That's, that's kind of shitty though. Mandatory secret. Bad game devs. I'm so turned around. Holy shit. Where? All right, I gotta like, the step movement in this dungeon has been distressingly useful. Kind of hard to make our way past all the, the map notes here, but we're, we're figuring it out. On um, through here, and then it's down here. Okay. We're off step mode, save, proceed. so hungry so on Sundays ooh, yield of lightning protection that's actually a good get which that's a magic longsword too anyways on Sundays when when I go to work since I have Sundays are my early start day during the week for my second job I work overnights and on Sundays we have to be in super early because the volume is typically like crazy high comparatively non magical longsword of disappointment plus zero get out anyways uh, since I get up so early, by and large, I don't generally eat on Sundays, and if I do eat, I eat something very, very light. So, I get home from work, and I'm always super hungry, because I've been working, you know, for hours at a physical job with, with no food. Because I'm not hungry right when I wake up. Anyways, I'm recording this before having dinner, because I'm stupid, but I want to get it done. But, let's make this fun and fuck with people watching this video and make the comments really confusing. What are y'all having for dinner? I am going to have, I think, probably rice and, ooh. I have this, um, it's like a frozen thing I cook in the air fryer. It's Korean, like Korean barbecue chicken. It's fucking delicious. And that's probably gonna be dinner for me. How about you, dear viewer? Be the, the engagement machine. Confuse your compatriots. What's on the table tonight? And the first one to make a fucking, like, Might and Magic reference gets banned, Celt. No flaming hot wolf nipple chips in this chat. Comment section. Whatever. Oh, damn. All right. We found somebody in here that got wasted. Let's dump these wands for a second. Does this actually have stuff in it? It does not. Well, it does, but... Hmm. Because I know this is all important quest stuff right here. We have four of the five things we need. I would like to ID this stuff. I doubt the shield is magic. It would be nice if the armor were, though. We do have to sleep. What do we got? No, no, no. Depression. However, it's the same, same AC, and oh, it's it's worse than the ancient elven plate. Wow, that's a shame because like the adamantine armor looks fucking badass, and he's the only one that can wear it too. So, could you imagine that? So why'd you guys leave the the suit of adamantine full plate that's probably worth more than some small villages in the dungeon again? Oh, you know, we the, the game world that we inhabit has no conceit of money, and so it's completely useless to us to carry it around. And, like, the money that we do have is, like, we're having to, to like, delve through hell pits for 15 gold pieces. 15! A first level character! 15 gold pieces by and large isn't like a monstrous sum of coin. But man, in this, it's. That's something that like a lot of old dungeon crawlers did. Like, uh, Dungeon Master, the first one, 
add puzzles that involved coins that you would find in the dungeon, like copper and... I think it was like, there were like copper and gold, or maybe silver and gold coins. I know there were coins in that that you could put into slots, and that was it. Uh, let's see... I have the Beholder 2. You had Kelvin's coin, which really was more of a plot device than anything. Okay, so yeah, we've 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 obviously missed something here. Also, I have no idea where the exit is in here, so that's Oh no, wait, that's right. We have this door up here. The A, yeah, the, the gray door. I do want to check out this area though. I, I very much think that we missed something. Anyways, what was that going on? Ah yes, coins and dungeon crawlers. I don't know. I mean, I get it, I suppose, because you don't want to have a... Uh, you don't want to have to program in a, a shopping system for a game where the dungeon crawl is the entire point of it, right? I get that. Sure, totally fair. Because then you have to worry about, like, an economy and all of that garbage, and not everybody wants to deal with that. But at the same time, in a D&D &D game, making 15 gold pieces out to be this epic quest to be gone on is just farcical to me. I should be able to take that armor back to that Vistani and like plunk the helmet down on the table and tell him, you know, this is worth more than this entire town. Give me your fucking potion. And he would be like, of course, Giorgio, you can have 10 of them because I'm just going to ferry this to, you know, whatever not Strahd's hell pit that I know about. And converted into more money than God. But plot contrivance. Alas. It would have been better if instead of wanting a coin from you, maybe he would just want some item that you would have no way to get until, you know, fairly late into the game and then, hey, Falcon level. And then, you know, you could have quests slowly jumping you you know, as you're working towards getting Lord Delt's amulet, you hear, ah, oh, yes, and, you know, Strahd also has this particularly rare, this particularly rare piece of jewelry or whatever that's worth a trajillion gold pieces. And the Vistani would love that. Or, well, I was going to say the Taroka card, get the Taroka card back. But we need that to... To, to fuss about with that book that we have, so probably not that. I don't know. It just seems of all the conceits that they could have gone through to get the player to earn this thing from the Vistani, that just going for coin is not... It just doesn't feel like the right way. I'm not going to say it feels cheap, but it just doesn't feel right. I would imagine, especially since they are agents of Strahd, that the Vistani really wouldn't have much need of coin. What is going on? There we go. And spinners. Oh yeah, that's right, this is the fireball hall. I just want to check these walls up in here. Uh, no, I'm not going to tempt that bait. Fucking spinners. Oh, and there's apparently a hellhound in here that respawned. Oh my god. It's... wait a minute. Oh, well, that's interesting. When we're on grid movement, we don't have to target our spells. Oh my god, that's terrible. Jesus Christ. When we're on grid movement, it just fires it down the line. That's actually kind of nifty. I don't know. It... It still blows my mind how in Stone Prophet, when we flipped on the grid movement, that it snapped the enemies to the grids, too. That is so much better than letting the enemies free move while you're stuck to a grid, because it gives you actually a chance to, you know, properly engage them. Could you imagine, though? Like, imagine I the Beholder. I the Beholder 1, I the Beholder 2, or I guess any of the old grid-based dungeon crawlers. I the Beholder, Black Crypt, Dungeon Master. Just imagine them having a toggle where you could swap between free movement with a mouse look or something and and grid based movement. It's so weird to think about. It would be kind of nifty, though. Oh my God, these fucking spinners are just the worst. 
Like, it's such a troll because it does nothing. Does nothing to us in free movement but man if you're in if you're in the step movement and then there's like this one right here that it does nothing to you if you're in step movement but if you're in free movement it's just complete and utter i'm trying to think about a monty burnsism it's like some flim flam or possibly a jibber jabber what was he he called fucking smithers when he got stung by that bee and he's, he was telling him to put his like i think he called them clod hoppers his feet oh my god i miss old simpsons so much there's some newer simpsons episodes that are i would say okay but that's about as far as i'd go they they don't hold a candle to the the og like maybe the first i don't know eight seasons or so i did not mean to memorize spells I gotta rewatch Simpsons. Holy shit, it's been so long. I saw that there's like actually a stream on Twitch that like every day shows a different episode of Simpsons, like the old Simpsons episodes. That's kind of cool. Is, is it time? I'm just I'm still waiting for the zombie golems and it is. It is terrifying me that we haven't seen any yet. I know that they're in here. This level design is so good, though. Like, with, not not really, but I mean, I shouldn't say the level design is good. The level design is kind of obnoxious, actually. But all of the the crap just laying around is so good. What do we have here? Mage scroll of death. There you go. Rove. More healing potions. God, we have so many. So I think. Yeah, that's my ointments. We have an empty one there. I'm going to put the ointments in the first one. There. And now we have another box. Don't care about that broadsword. We found that with the uh, the armor, but realistically, I think the weapons that we've got are probably what we're going to be carrying through to the end of the game. We are fairly close to finishing this, actually. It probably doesn't really seem like it because everything is just so all over the place. But we are nearing the end. I'm hoping... God, what is this? October? Dating the episode, uh, we should be done with this by the end of the month, I would hope. I, I like ideally, I would like to be done with it in this next chunk of episodes here within the next three episodes, but we'll just have to see how things go. Like, why? Spinners, they're just hmm. It wouldn't rustle my jimmies as much if if the turn rate weren't so slow. The enemies weren't as deadly. Fuck. Ooh. Or they would just settle on one kind of fucking spinner. They won't. All right, how are we looking on XP for everybody here? Yeah. I think Chunk may hit Thief 10, but realistically, I don't see levels for else. Cone of cold ain't gonna do shit, so burning hands it is. I see a coin. But no, I really dig. I dig this, the decor and stuff, like the shelves and things on the walls. It looks great. It's very much... Is this it? Okay. Vulcan, you can have another chest. Here you go, buddy. So we need... We need to fill this, I think, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. We need to fill this box. And then, and then we will be good. We will have accrued the vast sum of 15 gold pieces, which I, I don't know when in D&D 15 gold pieces ever has ever been like a princely sum of coin for any adventurer past, I guess, character creation. But hey. Oh. Oh. Imperfect. Oh. I didn't even see that. Fucking rove. The eyes of a fox. Wait for it. I know there's a fireball coming. Who 
would be funny if it just opens and there's nothing in here. Do it, game. Give me an empty room. Oh, no, there's a gold piece. <laughs> Damn it. It would have been funnier if it were an empty room. You know what would be really funny? If I could remember which fucking box I'm putting everything into, but we just have so many. I don't know. I would rather have more storage than we need than not enough. I'm not gonna complain about it in any serious fashion. All right, what do we have in here? See that ladder? Another button, which means I'm saving again. Yeah, that's not what I meant to cast, but okay. No, there we go. Good job. Enemy slain. Sleep. Light. Ready the lightning bolts. Because there's probably more of them. Oh no. We're short a coin. Because of course we are. What is that? That's the broadsword. Man, all right, let's, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna see what this, where this takes us. Is there more dungeon or is this back to town? Certain we can return to these caverns when we wish, but perhaps we should not leave so hastily. There were coins below, and by chance we might yet find a sufficient number to purchase of Stani's miraculous potion of I recall 15 coins was the sum of which he spoke. So how do we... Uh, <laughs> I love it, it's just like some fucking unassuming hatch in these assholes house they don't give a shit strahd's mega catacombs they have at it kids okay um well shit it's gotta be it's gotta be this area that we we haven't mapped out it has to be i just don't know <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in here. We've already been through this. That's like the room with all the fireball traps and shit in it. All right. Well, let's see. Is 22 minutes of recording time? 23? Okay, so we'll give it to half an hour, and if I don't find it... Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to call the LP there. I, that's clearly the only logical solution is to just take my ball and go home or more realistically i'll just dig up kibitz's maps and find it on there and swear loudly when i figure out it's been hidden via bullshit right here by any chance no not memorize actually we have no no six level spells god damn it Rizard, do you have any still no fifth level spells it's so bad there's a reason why in tabletop your wizards typically got a free spell when they would gain levels. It'd be cool if you could like touch the torch and it would do something. Because not only could this be a secret wall, there could be a hidden lever, it could be a bunch of stuff. It could also just not be anything. Okay, I know this pile of crap's all our coin or not coins, keys. I don't have like a coin hidden somewhere in here, do I? This is full, yes, okay. Just making sure that my my math is not a complete sham. Falcon, do you have a coin? No. No. What the hell is oh the elven shield? I was gonna say that's a fancy looking shield. Why can't I just give him this priceless ruby instead? Right, I wanna check this up here. Fire resistance, yeah. I'm just gonna drink that. Uh it's like there might be a secret here. Here, 
any gaps in the map, we have to wall hump our way through. I imagine probably not in these. It's got to be this. Fuck it. Hibbets. Let's see if we can get his map here. Uh, Ravenloft. Strahd's Possession. This game actually has a hint book. I think all of them do. But good luck finding physical copies of those. I would love to have these games in physical copy, but they are so expensive. Like, you're looking at a, about a hundred bucks for just the big box. It's insanity. Absolute insanity. Not Nintendo game prices, but up there. Waiting for game facts to drag ass on loading. Okay, load the guides page. I don't know what game facts issue is. Like, without fail, this website takes, you know, a minute to load every page. It's terrible. And I don't understand why, because it's all text. Like, you're loading text or like a PNG image. What the fuck? No reason for that. And yet, I think this is like a robe up here, isn't it? Yeah. I can remember that, but if you ask me what I had for dinner last night, I couldn't tell you. Okay, seriously, game facts, quit being fuck ups and load the goddamn guide page. Thank you. Okay, we are in, I think, the greater catacombs. Wait on that to load. I just want to see if there's anything in this area on the map, or if it's the game bullshitting me. I have no faith in anything. Really? Fucking hellhounds, man. Not even once. Wait, okay, is there... Is there an area there? There's totally an area there. Let me, let me, let me pull this up here. Okay, how? Oh, there's totally an area there, and it has a coin in it. All right, so the entrance is actually in this central area here. We just have to figure out how to open it. Oh! Pulling this game out on its bullshit, and Kibitz is just confirming it. Thank you, Kibitz. You're a hero. I just have to figure out how to open that wall now. Not get fireballed. <laughs> All right. So yeah, according to this, it is right is like literally right here. Is it this fucking torch? No. Hmm. Where are these goddamn hellhounds coming from? Let's ah. Uh... <laughs> so close and yet so far away fuck it I'm having another nap screw it I really am curious about how much of our time we've spent napping it feels like we've, we have I shouldn't say it feels like we've spent more time napping we have absolutely spent more time napping than actually adventuring by orders of magnitude, since we're sleeping for days at a time. All right, there's the last key, and of course it goes into the wrong chest because I can't make up my mind which chest is the right one. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's make this huge, like this fuck huge dungeon, guys, and not just make the player find a couple coins in there, make them find like 40. Fucking Ubisoft, man. Take notes. Take notes. These guys had it down first. Getting stuck in hallways. Hey, okay, I'll this wasn't nearly as painful as I thought it was going to be. I remember zombie golems in here. Want to eat a fireball? No. Haha. <laughs> All righty then, well, I suppose we will end this on a good note. 
So, as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. Hope you all had a good time. Thanks again, Kibitz, and I will catch you all next time. We're in. We're probably gonna buy a potion, and and I imagine praying for death is forthcoming. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time. Check out one of these other series. See if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, be the machine, and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.